Jake Ludington here at Discover 2015 in London, and I'm here with Ken Wan. And recently you announced that you're going to end of life the Helion Public Cloud, but what does that mean for the, the greater Helion offering? So the Helion brand is all about all of our cloud products and services that we help customers as they transform their infrastructure from a traditional environment to what we call a hybrid infrastructure. So the hybrid infrastructure includes private cloud, public cloud, and traditional IT, all to help our customers deliver the right level of services uh, based on the workloads. So the Helion brand continues to exist. We have a broad portfolio of products that include software products like OpenStack, uh, um, our, our Cloud Foundry product, our Cloud Service Automation product. There's integrated solutions like Cloud System, and then there's managed services like our managed private cloud, our managed virtual private cloud. In fact, we just announced at this show a new managed cloud broker service. So that's really exciting, we're really happy about that. We're getting a lot of excitement around that. The last couple weeks ago, we, we announced he, a new version of our Helion OpenStack, uh, Helion OpenStack 2.0. We also announced Helion Development Platform, a new version of that. So we're continuing to roll out products around the Helion brand. The Helion brand is all about helping our customers deploy a, a hybrid cloud environment. So it's, it's, it's you know, vibrant and strong and continuing. So, so Helion continues to grow. It's just a matter of the, the public cloud portion of that was, was kind of carved out of the business. That's right, so what we decided was the, the, instead of investing in our own public cloud, let's go leverage some of these companies, these partners of ours that have huge public cloud services and presence already. So one of the other things that we announced this week is a relationship with Microsoft Azure. So we're going to be reselling Microsoft Azure to help our customers who want that hybrid environment, they need a public cloud, we can help them with Microsoft Azure. We, uh, if they want a private cloud, we have all of our own products. And of course, that also augments the, the acquisition we did last year around Eucalyptus, which gives us a, a fully compatible AWS pr uh, private cloud also. So we have integrations and able to support both AWS kinds of environments, as well as Azure environments from a public cloud standpoint, and then our full portfolio of, of private cloud products uh, to, to augment that. Now, and you just mentioned that, that so you've got a new management platform that you've announced, and does that, does that help manage from a public perspective both Azure and AWS as well as all of the private cloud offerings? Yeah, the new managed cloud, cloud broker offering allows you to manage internal private cloud as well as external services, which could be other services like AWS, Azure, or whatever service provider you want to in integrate into that platform. So it makes it a lot easier for, for, uh, for customers to be able to provide a, a, a portal uh, to order services independent of where they're from, independent of whether they're built in-house or from external service providers. All right, well there you have it. Helion lives on, Helion Public Cloud is gone, but the Helion brand continues. Thanks, Ken. That's right. Thanks, Jake.